Hello everyone, welcome to Exademy. My name is Prabhash Kumar and I am teaching you Engineering Mathematics. We are into first chapter of Engineering Mathematics that is basic concepts and we are entering into lesson number 6 which is Geometry. So from exam point of view or from engineering point of view we will be studying two dimensional and three dimensional geometry and one thing I should tell that we won't be seeing the details and derivations of these geometry why because this is not required for competitive exams okay so what will we wanna see is only we will be seeing some standard shapes and there's some standard formulas the details and the derivations will be dealt in the school level videos which will be getting uploaded in the academy YouTube channel okay so let's see two dimensional geometry when we say two dimensional or two dimensions what does it mean two dimension means we have two dimensions so it could be either xy plane or yz plane or zx plane okay so for two dimensional geometry we have some standard shapes uh, and we have to remember the formulas for area and perimeter is just in order to uh, solve the problems related to aptitude or to some extent in engineering mathematics also okay so all these standard shapes finds its applications uh, everywhere so first shape with that we have is trapezoid and this is the shape that you can see this is called trapezoid this are uh, these two lines as we are as we are seeing these two lines are parallel so this is a and this is b okay so a is parallel to b and this side is c this is d and this is vertical height is h so how will you calculate the area the formula of area of a trapezoid is nothing but half into sum of parallels into height so what is this parallels so this is a and b these are parallel so you need to take the sum of these parallels and you need to multiply with this height so area is equal to half into a plus b into h and perimeter as you know it's nothing but the summation of all the lengths of the sides so this is a plus b plus c plus d okay so trapezoid is clear moving to second figure that we have is parallelogram so par what is the speciality of this parallelogram we have two sides okay and the opposite sides are equal and parallel so this be this side the top side is parallel and equal to bottom side the left hand side is equal and parallel to bottom uh, sorry right hand side okay so a and a are equal and parallel b and b are equal and parallel and this is your vertical height okay which is h so area is equal to base into height how will you find the perimeter simply add all these sides so you'll get 2 into a plus b next shape we have is rectangle so that is area is b into a and perimeter is 2 times l plus b next we have rhombus so what is the speciality so rhombus is also a parallelogram okay so a special case of parallelogram in which the all the sides are equal and parallel the so opposite sides are parallel so this left hand side is parallel to right hand side but are equal and right and the top hand uh, top one is parallel and equal to bottom one okay so sides will remain equal but the opposite sides will be parallel to each other moreover we have some diagonals here so the diagonals will be unequal here so the diagonals will be unequal but they will be perpendicular to each other so how will you find the area if for finding the area we have half into a product of the diagonal so let's say this is my diagonal 1 d1 this is my diagonal 2 d2 so if you uh, find half into d1 in d2 you will get area how will you find perimeter for, for finding perimeter you have 4 into s okay so simply add all these sides so s plus s plus s plus s so you'll get 4 into s moving to square so square is another a case of a rhombus as you can see in this rhombus what is the difference so here the angle was not 90 degree but here we have angle as 90 degree by making all the angles as to be 90 degree the diagonals will become equal okay so that is diagonals are equal but per, uh, per, 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 perpendicular to each other okay so this is s s s and s so four sides we have that is perimeter will be equal to 4s and if you want to find area so area will be equal to s square which is half into d square okay so next we have regular polygon why i'm calling this a polygon as to be regular polygon is because all the sides are equal okay can you see all these all sides are equal now this is a regular polygon so polygon means it it should have n sides n could be anything it could be four five six seven eight and so on it could not be two the minimum value of n should be three so that will be that will give you a triangle if you keep n is equal to four so that will give you a quadrilateral and so on so let us consider n is the number of sides and s is the length of the side so for finding the perimeter simply you need to multiply the number of the sides along with the length of the side so this will give you the perimeter apart from this we have two formulas for finding the area so first formula is area is equal to half into apothem into perimeter what is apothem apothem is the vertical distance from the center to the base okay or from the uh, center to the base so this is apothem okay so area is equal to half into apothem into perimeter second special formula that we have for finding the area of the regular polygon is s square n divided by 4 10 pi by n okay so what is n n is the number of the sides and s is the length of the each side 
here for this particular example how many sites are here can you count the number of the sites so we have s is equal to how many sites we have number of sites we have is number of sites that we have is uh, say uh, number of sites here for this particular polygon is 6 so put the value of n is equal to 6 so this will give you the formula for area okay next we have circle so what is circle everyone knows circle is a uh, uh, means a closed figure so area will be equal to pi r square and then we, when you will find the perimeter how will you find this perimeter perimeter is nothing but 2 pi r okay so this will give you the perimeter or circumference next figure we have is ellipse so this is called the half major axis this is called the half minor axis and so r1 and r2 values if you know so you can easily calculate the value of area as a is equal to pi times r1 r2 and perimeter will be equal to 2 pi times root under half of r1 square plus r2 square moving to three dimensional geometry that is the uh, three dimensional geometry that we we are having first figure that we have is a sphere okay so first figure that we are having is a sphere so how will you find the surface area surface area is equal to 4 pi r square volume is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube r is the radius next we have right cylinder so two types of cylinder i am showing here one is solid cylinder one is hollow cylinder so when you have solid cylinder that means everything will get filled up here and for hollow cylinder you will have some empty space when you, when you are interested to find the surface area so surface area will be equal to 2 pi r into h plus r volume will be equal to pi r square h r is the radius and h is the height moreover capital r here is the outer radius small r here is the inner radius okay so for finding the surface area you need to do 2 pi into r plus r into h plus r minus r volume will be equal to pi into r square minus r square times h okay next we have cone so this is your cone so for finding the surface area you need to multiply pi r with l plus r l is the slant height this height as you can see this is called slant height r is the base radius and volume is 1 by 3 pi r square h h is the height next we have a square pyramid so as you can see this is the base is a square so for finding the volume you need to multiply v is equal to 1 by 3 v s square h where s is the base side length and l is the slant height what is slant height this light this height is called slant height and h is the vertical height that is from the apex to the base so surface area will be equal to 2s into l plus s and s is the base side length next we have rectangular prism which is also called as a cuboid so surface area is equal to 2 times l into b plus b into h plus l into h and volume will be equal to l into b into h next we have cube so surface area is 6a square volume is a cube and a is the side length so general right prism all these prisms are the general right prisms for finding the surface area the formula is surface area is equal to p h plus 2 b p is the perimeter h is the height and b is the base area so as you can see this is the base area so for finding the volume you need to multiply this base area and the height okay next we have is ellipsoid so as you can see this is a uh, uh, it's looking similar like a rugby ball so this length is a this is b and this is c for finding the volume you have uh, this formula that is 4 by 3 pi abc if you know uh, the values of all these three lengths that is abc you can easily calculate what is the volume that is 4 by 3 pi abc and for finding the surface area there is no such formula that is very complicated actually and uh, it is suggestible that you should uh, use calculus for finding the volume or sorry for finding the surface area for this ellipsoid okay so when i'll be teaching this calculus well in depth then you can easily take an element out here and you can integrate it and get the value for this surface area outer surface area for this so these were some 2d and 3d standard figures and shapes of which you need to remember some standard formulas from the exam point of view okay so we'll be meeting in the some other lecture with some new topics till then take care bye bye